Hi, good morning. Hi, good evening, everyone. Sorry, I'm very nervous. Okay, I'm Taro, but please call me Taro, but I'm Won Young Choi. I'm working for Singapore Tourism Board as, as Julius introduced me. And now I'm, <coughs> I'm working for Android Engineer here. And now I'm in charge of the, the Visit Singapore app as, as Android developer. Okay. Today I'm I'm going to talk about Camera Camera X one yeah which is one of Jetpack library component. Here, yeah, okay, Jetpack is is like a suite of libraries, tools, or guidance to help developers write high quality apps easier. And we, you know, you know, Camera X is is basically life cycle of our component. It, it means yeah we, we don't need to write any write any specific code for yeah upon upon the right right cycle functions like oh on create or resume or in destroy etc and also it you know, it also provides backward compatibility to l you know basically lollipop covers more than 90 percent in the world so we can expect to cover almost every devices when when the camera the camera x reaches reaches table version and it also adopts new concept, user case, user, user case, user case based approaches. We'll discuss later. And now, now Google is trying to try, try to put <coughs> be a bigger, yeah, big, big effort to resolve device compatibility issues. So we so so using your camera X, we don't need to put any cores which is device dependent. And now, <coughs> as I mentioned in the title of topic, now camera X has has gone through beta, beta stage. Before beta stage, it had 10 times of alpha stage. And currently, it passed two stages. Google has released beta 3 today. So I, I was very busy today to revise my slide and also, also fix my code. But it was, but it was luckily, luckily in, a, in a core part. So it, does, it didn't affect to the other UI side. Okay, <clears throat> I'm, we are ready to see three categories of use cases, preview, image analysis, and image capture. I'm gonna look into three categories here, start this off. Okay, now Google, Google the camera X has pre, preview layout. It, it, names, it names after, after preview view, but, but before, before, before coming into beta stage, we, yeah, we used to have texture view, and also, also Google uh, encourages us to use texture view. But with the race of preview layout, it is, yeah, it is now it is one of recommended way to implement the camera preview. This, uh, this is code snippet for XML. So <coughs> it, yeah, it is it's basically included in the camera X framework, UI, UI framework. So <coughs> yeah, you and you, it is, so how to use it is basically same with the other view, view widgets in Android, like text view or constellate layout or coordinate layout, etc. But for some cases, we may need we may need to customize texture view for for some uh, for some specific for some particular cases that, that we need to that you just need to use some open just open just stuff, but this out of scope here. Okay. Okay. This is this is Kotlin Kotlin pad to use to use to use the view view viewfinder. I mean the preview. <coughs> by and by using find view ID. Yeah, we can we can get a view instance from from the XML as you know. And now we we can implement the preview using using build a parent. And here after creating the build a parent builder, we can set the target aspect ratio and target and target rotation here. And after that, we, yeah, we need to set a surface provider. And, and I will talk, I will talk later about, about screen aspect ratio and rotation. But <clears throat> it, it has been changed since beta two before, uh, before people configuring the, the kind of preview view. We, yeah, we, we should 
we configure some some things in application application instance like that, and also also in, also implement the camera x config that provider and also implement this compact function like that. And secondly, it, yeah, it's basically basically similar code, but one, only one difference only one different thing is the last last line here preview that creates a PCB provider. So, so here the the code to create a service provider now without it is inside the preview and the, and the needed and the required required parameter is camera that camera info the camera info yeah, we can talk about the camera info later okay okay secondly I want to, I would like to proceed to camera the image analysis we can use we can use this this image on analyzer for our our custom image process in same way we can in same way we can create image image on analyzer object here so, like yeah same yeah in same way like like using build a parent we can set target resolution and also but I but we but you can use target target aspect ratio like that but we if we if we set set up two parameters at the same time it cause crash. So here we need to we have in to make to make sure that image analyzer to to support the non blocking mode we we need to we need to set the back pressure strategy here. It means the the image analyzer only only takes the last last frame from the camera. And here we we can see we can see the code to to set up the analyzer here. It put yeah. At first, you yeah, are putting the executor and, <coughs> and creating the image analyzer, image analyzer object, and even also also that the callback function use, using lambda lambda pattern lambda, lambda expression. Then this lambda this lambda expression returns the image. That image is image image proxy. Image proxy contains some informations about image image of Android such as format, width, and height. The, this camera X the camera X basically supports YUV format. So in so inside this Lambda Express, Lambda expression, you can put your code. We can put your code upon your request or your requirement. Okay. <clears throat> I will proceed to image capture. I think that, that is the most the most important thing for uh, for the users because cam the cam you know the camera the one of the basic function is uh, of camera is taking a picture right in in the same way <coughs> we we can set the capture mode and after after using build pattern we can set the capture mode and target aspect ratio and target rotation like that there there are two <coughs> two parameters required capture mode and as screen aspect ratio here. Screen aspect ratio has two uh, two constants, 16, per, uh, 16 versus 9 and 4 versus 3. <coughs> then, and in, in, in image capture mode, we have it has two two constants. Capture mode minimize latency or uh, maximize quality. If you, if you are very sensitive to to the, pre, the processing speed, you should you just take Take first one. Although, otherwise you can. Otherwise, or if you are, if you are more prioritizing on the on the quality, you should take second. And interact taking picture. <clears throat> Here before we were taking a picture, yeah we yeah we should set some output options and I mean then it. It contains some file file formats and some metadata, but metadata is optional. By by using this code, using in the same way with the yeah, with the previous one, like in, like like the the other user cases, is also also use a build build a parent. So <clears throat> taking so here taking the code to take a picture is very simple. Just one. Just one line. First, we can we can set up the output options we we set previously and executor 
and and set and set an anonymous class or some or or separate class using imp implementing or extending that on image save callback. Here we, it has two callback functions in in on image save on error. So here, so inside the code, yeah, we can we can do whatever we want. Okay, before proceeding to the final stage of initializing, I want to <clears throat> I, I want to introduce some new APIs in beta. Yeah, this, yeah, this is this is just this is just just a, just a funny thing. We, we now now Google's code lab, Google's code lab on and the camera X it, they use still in alpha. It's quite it's quite ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we have I have three things to tell initialization, your camera, and camera control. Before before beta, we we had. We only we only needed to use one class, uh, one one method defined in camera X. It is, is like it is like a static function, but since beta, camera X has started using a new class to initialize based yeah, based on the yeah, based on concurrency API of Java named progress pro, pro, process camera provider. Here, process camera provider is basically a single parent, so it returns a camera camera provider future. You know, you, you know, future is one of one of one of the concurrency API of Java, right? And here, we yeah we can define a runnable and runnable to initialize all the user cases. And at first, by yeah, by by running this call, we can get a camera provider. And and don't forget to use executor at the end of this line. I, I mean the I mean the I mean the method of I mean method at listener. <coughs> picking, a, yeah, picking a camera. Okay. We can use this class camera camera selector to pick the most suitable camera upon up on gi given given options. If yeah, by yeah, by picking the op by using this option, camera X automatically picks the most suitable one. Camera, okay, as, yeah. As you can find, everything everything has been based on the villa parent. Now the camera selector need, needs only one line, only one line require lens facing, facing back or facing front. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but in the future there may be a more various things for selector. But now, now in beta stage, we we only need to initialize and make sure, ensure we use we, which lens we don't we want to use. Okay, in the previous slide, we uh, we saw some camera info right in. When when initializing, when initialize the preview here, you can see you can you see the camera that camera info right that is equivalent to this. To this camera info and camera control. Camera, camera control and camera info, camera info classes are objects. Again, it, they these are able able to be. To be given by 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 binding all the user cases, we will talk will talk later. But but I but I just want to I just want to share here. Okay, the first line is to yeah is is the code to initialize initialize. All the older user cases and all of, also also to bind all the user cases to the life cycle. By by doing by doing that, it returns camera in a real real camera object. But yeah, based on the based on camera camera object, we can obtain the camera info and camera control here. Camera camera control is camera control is to, is for. 
for manipulating some some features, some advanced features of Camera X, Camera Camera X, and and Info is a corresponding corresponding functions to to the camera control. That means, camera by using Camera Info, we can <clears throat> we can retrieve the status of the advanced features. By you by using Camera Control, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can enable or disable torch or linear zoom level and zoom ratio or starting autofocus or canceling autofocus here. In the same way, yeah, we we can also we can also de derive some derive some values from camera info. Yeah, using by using camera info, sensor rotations or state or torch state, or it contains two status. Enabled and disabled, or on and off. I mean, zoom state returns camera info that zoom state returns live data. Zoom, zoom state of live data, but zoom state is also 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 kind of data structure. It only has the zoom state zoom state inside. I mean, it it contains some it contains some floats. Or we we can check whether this, this camera this camera machine is. Is available is available on the on a flash or not? Okay. <clears throat> okay, we have glanced many, many many things, many things like like just use, use cases or how how to initialize very briefly. Here we reach to the final stage: bind to bind and unbind to life lifecycle of Android. Okay, <clears throat> from the camera provider, we we did right. We we can just call one line of function here. The par the parameters are view lifecycle owner, camera se camera selector, preview, image capture, image analyzer. But in all all the user cases are optional. If you just if you just want to use preview, you can put we can put you can put the preview object only. In, in same way, if you don't need any image analyzer, you can skip. But you know, camera X follows the life cycle of life cycle owner who may be a fragment or activity of Android. But sometimes we we are required to unbind all the camera object from the life cycle explicitly. For example, before before binding all the user cases to the life cycle, we need to yeah we should make sure everything is on everything has been already unbound from yeah from the camera. But the case yeah we can use we can call this function. Okay, <clears throat> I I quickly gl glanced. As, as I mentioned, glanced all the thing, all, all the things, all, all the big fundamental things about Camera X. There are some there are some features, but <clears throat> there are some there are there are some features cam, camera Camera X provides provides to us, such as tap to focus, pinch zoom, zoom slider, torch enable and disable. Tap, tap to focus or pinch pinch zoom or zoom slider is is like is like is like a function given give, yeah, given given by the UI widget of Android, such as yeah such as uh, gesture detector or some sick bar or or any buttons to enable to enable or disable or or ma or making bigger the zoom level or shorter the or making the, making the zoom level shorter. So. <clears throat> I I will not bring any, any code snippet here about this these advanced features, but if I if I have a chance more, I would like to introduce some someday someday in future. Okay, also also Camera X also pro, provides API for accessing effects. I mean visual effects like a bokeh or HDR. But it is dependent on device and manufacturer. That means only space, only particular, only only specific, only specific phones or only specific manufacturer can you can use 
can embed this vendor, vendor extensions to the phone. So often, <coughs> so if the if a device has a that specific functions, then it will be enabled. Otherwise, CameraX automatically degrade it very softly. The official document by 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 Google also describes how to how to enable or use bokeh effect as an example. You can find it easily from from a, from the Google Google Developers Group and Google Develop, Google Developers page. And keep in mind that vendors are not required to provide every if every visual effects. So please don't be disappointed for uh, for the for the for the vendors or manufacturer. Okay. <clears throat> we okay we okay we just we, we just got we just gotten gotten through the camera the camera's pictures from yeah from <clears throat> from the scratch or preview and some use cases and how and how to bind how to unbind or how 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 to pick the camera or any any other advanced features any questions mm -hmm. sorry second Okay, is Camera X open source? Can we contribute to Camera X on the code repository? Okay. Yes, Camera X, yes, Camera X is open source, but we need to we need to fork we need to fork that open source open source open source repository to our our things, and we can contribute. Okay, since Android is having lots of devices specific issues regarding camera and gallery image speaker, it seems like it's fixed in Android X. How about all the all the OS version? Okay, camera. It seems like it's fixed in Android X. How about all the all the version? Hmm. Let me give me a second. Oh, in in my personal opinion, I don't I don't think I don't think that specific issues had issues has been yeah have been fixed in Android X because Android X is just like form factor, so that that the gallery the gallery can the, the gallery can be uh, in, in the, independent to the to the vendors or ca or cameras camera source can also can be manipulated or some customized by the by the vendor, but and. But by Android is Android X is just like if just like F four to to resolve the fragmentation problem. But I, I'm not sure. I, I don't think that's thing. I, I don't think that this this fix well. How about all the OS version? Can how do you use camera control in fragment or activity? How do we use? Okay. 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 Call up. <clears throat> yeah, we, you can you can define you can declare this camera control, and and initial and initialize and initialize after after the camera after after the camera object is in is instantiate. Instantiated. Here, for example, if you want to use, if you want to use torch, you you, you can just you can just declare a, a button, and also here you you can you can set toggle using your button, and call this or call this function. That's all. If in in same in same way, if you want to set lean, you want to set a linear zoom using your volume control. You, you volume control has a callback functions. Yeah, you can you can use it. Is it any quest, Any other questions? Okay. Okay. If there's no no more question. 
want to say. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay. Well, 